everyone, this is Mei Yu, and welcome to Fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. Last week, I drew artwork using only makeup, and I'm glad many of you enjoyed it. Thank you to those who supported with your likes, comments, and subscribes. So many of you haven't asked me to turn good guys into villains in this video, and I think it's going to be a fun challenge. This is how I imagine some famous good guys as villains. Comment to let me know which one's your favorite. For me, this video is just purely for art since many of you have encouraged me to take on this challenge. I think it'll be fun to find out how some of my favorite characters can turn out if they were villains. So this is the opposite of my draw villains as good guys challenge. Similar to that video, here I'm going to reference what I've seen mostly from you know, various movies and shows on how good and evil characters are portrayed. And of course, real life is different and there are always exceptions. Uh, but for this challenge, I'll try to imagine how the creators would design them as villains. This is how I imagine Sailor Moon if she was a villain. You've probably noticed the upside down dark crescent moon on her forehead. This is the same as some of the other villains have in the same show. I made Sailor Moon's expression cold with a mean grin. The eyes are sharper at the corners. I made lots of changes for her outfit design to include more hard, jagged corners. Like her outfit, I made her hair more rigid and harsh. I think this could help portray my evil Sailor Moon character. Now I'm using darker colors, like most villains' outfit colors are portrayed in that way in many shows. Some of you have been asking me to draw Sailor Moon characters. You might want to check out these Fun Friday challenges if you haven't yet. You may have noticed that she looks a little older than the original. I think it's because of the jagged, harder lines I used for this character, while the original had softer lines. Or maybe she went down a different path later in life. What could be the cause? Comment to let me know your theories, I love to read them. Alright, I've been wanting to do something for this movie for a while. This is one of my most favorite movies of all time. Oh, oh I just love it. Like Gondor, Shire, Rivendell. I would love to visit Middle-earth. If you could go, where do you want to go? For me, I think I want a hobbit house like Bag End. I wonder how 
how Gandalf would look like if he turned evil. This is how I imagine him. I was thinking about that scene in Fellowship where Frodo wanted Gandalf to take the ring instead, and Gandalf's like, No dude, don't tempt me, you take it, or something like that. Anyway, I was thinking what if Gandalf did take the ring and then he fell under its dark power. How would things turn out? Is this how Gandalf would end up? What do you think? I'd love to hear your fan theories in the comments. I really enjoyed designing Gandalf with more tatters and rips. I think it looks pretty cool, but eerie. Many times I've seen evil characters that are portrayed with like decaying fabrics in their outfits or rips. And this is one of the reasons why I designed his robe like this. For Gandalf's outfit colors, I went with his dark gray, but I emphasized the darker shades, similar to the ring wraiths. I made Gandalf's face pale and grayed out, kind of like how the ring wraiths and golems faces are drained of color. I like how I made his staff like this nasty hand just clutching the ring. It was interesting imagining a famous plumber as a villain. I'm not following any designs like Wario or other characters, but rather I'm designing my villain Mario the way I want. Like my previous drawings, I'm using harsher, jagged lines and corners to replace the soft, round, friendly looking lines. I changed his expression and eye design, and I made his mustache sharper. Like his hat and mustache, I made his round shoes sharp. Again, I'm using darker colors for a harsher look.
<laughs> Look at the comparison. If Mario was the villain, what would he do in the game? I'm turning one of the main characters from another one of my favorite movie series into a villain. And this is how I imagine Hermione from the movies as evil. What would make a bright young witch want to become a Death Eater? If you like, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. I made her scarf long, torn, and uneven. I designed Hermione's wand like a bone to add to the unsettling feeling. I referenced Bellatrix in her outfit and gave Hermione a leathery corset top with her clothing. I gave her scary claw-like fingers to emphasize the scary look, and maybe she dabbled in magic to get these. I designed her dress with lots of rips and shreds, similar to how I drew Ganoff's robe. Like how I've seen Bellatrix in many photos, I'm going to make Hermione's skin pale with dark shadows. For all you Potterheads out there, if you want to see how I turn Harry Potter into a female, check this video out. Like most other evil characters in movies, I'm going with lots of dark colors. What's the killing curse called again? Abra... Abracadabra? No, Abracabob... Alakazam! No way, that's a Pokemon. <sighs> Maybe this is why I keep feeling my owls. I wanted to get her house colors in there. Maybe she's in the middle of becoming bad. I wonder why.
Now I'm going to reimagine an innocent princess as an evil character. I stylized her hair, gave her a bigger jagged bow, and hardened her features. For her collar, I made her really big and sharp. I had lots of fun designing her dress to reflect a harsher look. I looked at how the Evil Queen was designed and put my artistic take on designing my Snow White. I gave her long, sharp fingers and more hard lines in her arms. I like Maleficent's jagged edges, so I decided to reference this for my Snow White's cape. I think the red is very striking. For the other colors, I'm going to change some things to make my evil character design look harsher. I'm dulling down the color to make them black and gray, since many villains we've seen have those colors. I love how Innocent Snow White turned out as a beautiful but deadly villain. What could have caused this change? Comment below and don't say it's my challenge. I think it'll be a fun challenge, and this is how I imagine some famous good guys as villains. Ah, uh, no! Stop calling me! Uh, I'm Dave. <laughs> I think it's quite interesting to see how they look like as villains. Let me know who is your favorite, and thank you for supporting Art and my Funny Draw channel with your likes, subscribes, and by sharing my Funny Draw videos with your friends and on social media. Thanks for watching you guys, and I'll see you real soon.